Hello, in this one I want to talk about the Season Rebirth update preview video. I kept watching this, I kept trying to get more information and this is where I'm at right now. I'm gonna keep playing this, I'm not gonna play it from the start to the end, I'm gonna stop it. If you guys want to watch it fully, I can, I'm can. i gonna leave the link in the description. But there is some busted stuff that needs to be talked about. But I'm gonna try to add my two cents to most of the stuff. So first of all, it starts with a Rebirth Serpent. From what they show us, it's really hard to say if it's gonna be stronger mechanically or just we're gonna need more stats to kill it. At the same time, I think this is the this is the boss that's gonna drop us a Chaos Orb tier 10 in this mode. Yeah, it looks cool. It definitely looks reworked from what we can see. It looks strong, but yeah, we need to test that in game. Another thing is the new Descent Raid, Tenel. I don't really care about Tenel. As much as I care about the Deva, they're gonna update the old Descent Rate system. Because what happens right now, you can do the Descent Rate the first week, and the second week, after you get your items, after you start doing higher level maps, the Descent Rate becomes just not good. There is very little reason to do it. And I hope they're gonna update, uh, update the items you can get from it, or I don't know, somehow improve the system. Because, I don't know, it's it was such a long time that I did the Sen Raid, because there was just no reason to do it. New skill and new, new unique gear, Absolute Zama, looks strong, looks interesting, gonna try it. We don't ha have any info as of it right now. Same Black Plague, about the Black Plague we had a little bit more info, and they said that the Black Plague is gonna do more damage when you cancel cast. But what we can see right now, that it actually does damage while moving. So there's probably two parts of the skill, and it looks like really strong speed running skill, together with Absolute Zama. I was thinking about doing Bla Black Plague plus Absolute Zama as triggering, but most likely Black Plague won't be able to trigger any other skills, but this is just I, how I think about it. If it's not, Black Plague plus Absolute Zama is gonna be a really interesting combination, at least to test, because we have no idea what kind of damage they have right now. And the uh, cosmetics are crazy. Okay, Frostbomb. So this one is interesting. I really hope that Frostbomb is not gonna be the only skill that they give us unique gear for. Cause season five was kind of let down. Cause they, they started it so strong with the new unique gear that modifies your skills and then they kind of stopped. And then they kind of started to make mistakes. So I hope they're gonna give us something more. From what I can tell in here that Frostbomb has a pierce right now. On the unique item. Anything more, really hard to say. And Frost Bomb is actually a decent skill already. So yeah, I hope this is not the last one. New content, so this is the ancient Chaos Orb tier 10. That would imply that we have tier 10 charms, which means more damage, more power, good stuff. And the offering system to the 12 gods. So first of all, this offering system is gonna work throughout the seasons. What it means that it's probably gonna be really hard to max it out in one season So they're gonna give us more time and they're gonna transit that, that system throughout the seasons And that's not a good thing. That means if you play more seasons, you're just gonna be stronger from the start And there is another thing about it. I'm gonna keep it playing It looks like you upgrade it and you have a chance to upgrade it. It's, it's gonna be a really slow burn So I'm gonna roll it back and I'm gonna stop it right there so, why am I stopping it right there? So, my first thought, I want Vespa or Lower, right? It gives you intelligence, damage again increase, and movement speed increase. This is the most important ones early into the game. And then I think, okay, how bad or how strong it's gonna scale? I thought about, it can't go more than 10% at max level. And then if you watch it in this screen, there is a Boreal one that has 21 levels out of 120. And it's already 30% movement speed increase and 18% damage taken decrease at 21 level out of 120. So, this system is busted. It gives you, if this is true and the scaling keeps going, this system is busted as hell. It gives you so much power, most likely you're gonna only be able to choose one offering. And leveling these offerings are gonna be a bunch of RNG stuff. But, 
it's gonna pay out so good because these stats are insane 23% strength you can pump so much strength and get so much HP just from strength yeah so this was this was the pinnacle of this preview basically it was crazy and they showed a little bit how it's gonna look like what we need to do right and it doesn't look like it's some some kind of specific stuff you do this just by playing the game it says score up to 5k max and score per time is kind of lowish so it's gonna be a slow really slow system unless you can find some of the things that you can do fast for example craft unique potions it's not gonna take you a long time those potions craft really easy but something like craft ancient gear oh that thing is gonna be slow as heck but yeah this is an interesting one i don't know if it's a good change or it's a bad change but it's a really busted change convenience improvements it's a guidebook stuff we need that a lot of new players need that and it's good they're implementing it in the game instead of on the website this is another big thing so first of all they let you identify all the things in your stash and then you can withdraw all with it and i i have a ptsd from this because when you're running high level maps and you pick up charms when you're looking for upgrades you might spend like 20 to 30 minutes in your inventory just trying to remove the bad charms from your stash and it was hella bad and it kept going for like three or four seasons and i'm really happy they implementing this so you can withdraw all with one button click instead of pressing every single card separately or every single charm separately this is a big one they have they should have done it in season one this is another big thing so by the looks of it they are adding option filter that means they only add one option in here but i would assume you can use more than one option that means you kinda don't need that much charm storage space anymore and grinding is gonna be so much easier because you're not gonna need to check every single charm that means at the same time auction house charm prices should drop just because there's gonna be more supply right now as more people gonna be checking for those charms but this is just a guess but yeah this system they they should have done it last season i was really hoping for but i'm happy that we got it right now and i think it's not only gonna be charms it's also gonna be items would be my guess it's just option filter for everything that has options yeah really good stuff i love it it saves you so much time and after that they say five new links it probably has to do with the energy stuff that they said tutorial improvements so that's a guidebook most likely exclusive hot time event i don't know what 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 is this gonna be but let's hope it's gonna be really strong ranking event they said they're gonna implement the rebirth rankings and they're gonna keep a close eye to it so people wouldn't cheat that's good 19 new unique gear so we know already that one unique gear is frost bomb and there is extra 18 more yeah there is a high chance that we're gonna get a lot of unique gears that are specific to skills and of course some kind of seasonal uniques that we always had after that in game events regular they kept saying it for every single season and it was always regular events in game but i don't know it's good 30 skill runes and 12 link rune rebounds so this is where my this is where my question is they said five new links so i assume those five new links they do not count for revamps so 30 skill rune revamp and 12 ring, link rune revamp 30 skill we don't know as of now what those are because if we check the advance notice that i talked about in the last video there was not 30 skill runes that, that was a little bit less than that and the same with link runes so they are still hiding something or their math is really weird but that's good zodiac improvements those probably will have to do with um, either again weapon and area effect changes or only energy changes i highly doubt that it's gonna be like zodiac improvements in general yeah and this is it basically this is all i had to say this is all i wanted to say this is a lot of uh, this is basically just my opinion i have no idea what the hell is gonna happen because we don't have test servers we don't have any official information as of yet and we're only gonna get it 
on Wednesday. So one day before the game goes live, we're gonna get patch notes. And most likely on Tuesday, we're gonna get the skill and link rune changes together with new unique items. But they did not do that in season five. They kind of skipped it and went straight into the patch notes. But in season three or season four, they actually released the skill changes a little bit earlier than the patch notes. So that will be the hope. And yeah, it's on um, Thursday, the 7th. And I'm gonna be streaming. I'm starting to stream right now. Just trying to check some stuff before the actual season comes out. There is not much, not many things to check. But I look, I'm looking at the systems that are already in and I'm preparing some new content to release. Yeah, and if you're interested in, I'm gonna definitely be streaming on the release. GG's have fun and see you on the rebirth season.